So here I go. I'm doing my Criterion Collection as I promised. It went over a little bit the last time around, so I'm breaking this up into two sections. I'm going to start with the Blu-rays. going to do those first, see how long uh, this one takes, and uh, we'll, we'll go into the DVDs afterwards. I have uh, just a, f a handful of Criterion Blu-rays. I've got a lot of Criterion DVDs, so we're going to do it like that. Because there's certain ones I wanted in Blu-ray, certain ones I didn't matter. <coughs> first up is The Lady Vanishes, Alfred Hitchcock, classic film. Uh, <laughs> Uh, of course, this is part of his British series. I've been trying to get all the, all the Hitchcock films. Uh, great film, great Blu-ray. <coughs> Has a second film, 1941 film, with Basil Radford, who for some reason I keep calling Basil Rathbone. Sorry about that, guys. I've done that too, in two videos now. Uh, and uh, just an incredible, incredible film. Uh, great features. Of course, as always, more the Truffaut interview, the, the epic Truffaut interview that... Cr that Hitchcock did is on this as well. There's some uh, commentary, great stuff. Uh, this is number three in the Criterion Collection. Love it. Next up is uh, one I think that if you're a Fellini fan, this is my Fellini film, and it's Amacord, and it's a uh, a great film. It's one of his most personal films. Uh, if you've uh, got this one, then you know exactly why it's one of his most personal films. It talks about Fellini's homecoming in the documentary. We talks about his relationship with his hometown and. Uh, there's just some incredible stuff on this, and uh, breasts, huge, huge breasts, just, just saying. It's, uh, some people on my site will, will uh, admire that fact. Uh, number four, the Criterion Collection. My uh, better half is looking, giving me a sly evil eye from saying that, but come on, they were like, it's massive, it's Russ Meyer's size, so just saying, just getting it out there. M, number uh, 30 in the Criterion Collection, Blu-ray, uh, incredible one here. We've got a 50-minute uh, a uh, conversation with Fritz Lang by uh, director William Friedkin. We have a, a short film inspired by it, uh, by Claude Chabral, who's one of my favorite uh, French uh, directors. He is, pretty easy. he is the French Hitchcock, is what he's considered. Uh, some really cool stuff on there, some, there's a documentary on here, audio commentaries. Great, great stuff. There's a long lost English version of M. I just got to check that out as well. I just got this one recently. That's awesome stuff. Next up is uh, Videodrome. It's a great one. Number 248. I love the way this is done. I got to show you guys this. I showed it in my video before, but it bears repeating. It's done to look like the case is done to look like a Betamax cassette. And anybody that remembers the uh, video wars in the, back in the day, Betamax was like the superior one, but because it couldn't, didn't have as much uh, taping. You couldn't tape it for as long on a Betamax as you could on VHS. Uh, VHS won out, actually. And Sony actually it got were so peeved that they ensured that when Blu-ray HD DVD came around, they were going to win this time around because they lost the last time around. And Videodrome uh, is a great film. David Lynch, just weird as hell. Uh, this one, of course, is uh, produced by Pierre David. <laughs> Pierre David, a lot of you guys will probably know if you've seen the movie Scanners. Pierre David is a, uh, is a producer works in Canada. <laughs> uh, he does a lot of uh, films like that, like a lot of Scanners and love some horror films. Scanners 2, the whole Scanners Cop, that whole series, stuff like that. Uh, next up is Night of the Hunter. <clears throat> I think this belongs in everyone's collection. If you haven't got this one yet, highly recommend it. Charles Lawton only directed one film. It's a shame because he directed a masterpiece. Night the Hunter is an incredible horror slash noir film. This is 541, the Criterion Collection. There's a second disc here, a two and a half hour documentary of like just a lot of uh, treasure trove, as it says here, behind scenes footage, just some incredible stuff. This for me is Robert Mitchum's pivotal role. I mean, next up, next to this would probably be Cape Fear, but this is his greatest role. It is an amazing film. The cinematography in this thing is shot so wonderful. Uh, the black and white, the stark contrast is incredible. And the scene with the body under the water, just, uh, it has to be watched. Uh, in the uh, 19, late 60s, early 70s, the soap opera Another World had a uh, character play, a, 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 villain, a villain, a killer played by uh, Robert Blossom. Uh, on this show, and the uh, redid that uh, the water uh, body scene, and it was chilling on on uh, another world as well back in the day. Just uh, you know, Robert Blossom, by the way, in case you're unfamiliar, he's the actor that 
uh, he's a great actor, he's in Drange and stuff like that, but most people know him as the uh, next door neighbor old man in the uh, movie uh, Macaulay Culkin's Home Alone. <clears throat> next up is another uh, noir classic film. Uh, it's just great, sharp writing, this film here. Uh, wonderful acting by Burt Lancaster and Tony Curtis. <laughs> the uh, You want to see the bad side of humanity, you're going to see it in the sweet smell of success. An incredible film, got some great stuff on here. A 1986 documentary uh, about Mac McKendrick. I've got to watch that. You know, I don't know a lot about this director here. I want to find out more about Alexander McKendrick because this is such an amazing film. I want to know why he, uh, there's not more for me to see by this uh, guy here, but it's called The Man Who Walked Away, so looks to be an interesting documentary to check out. Uh, great film. Uh, there's some great, uh, great jazz music in this one as well. Uh, Highly recommend that. It is number uh, 585 in the Criterion Collection. Blowout is one of my favorite Palma films. <laughs> my favorite Palma film of all time is Body Double, which I would love to see Criterion do. Uh, but uh, I think Twilight Time or Olive, one of those other companies that don't put very good features on their on their discs, unfortunately, put it out instead, which means I'm going to have to buy it from them, and I really don't want to, but I will. <laughs> Somebody, If you guys have bought an olive films or twilight time films free feel to comment and sell me on the companies because so far i haven't picked up any other stuff because i really haven't been overwhelmed though witchboard 2 was there on blu-ray i gotta get it i really love that movie uh <clears throat> john travolta and nancy allen is in this film but who makes this film one of the great bad guys of all time <clears throat> and that would be the guy that was the bad guy in season four of uh Dexter, and was an awesome bad guy in the great Stallone film, Cliffhanger. <laughs> yes, my bad, my better half doesn't like doesn't like Cliffhanger, even though we all know that the bad guy is great. Have you guys guessed the bad guy's name yet? <clears throat> like I'm giving you time. <clears throat> I'll come back to it. I'll let you know after. Let's see. Maybe it's in here. Maybe I'll show you the picture. There we go. See? There he is. Such a... John Lithgow is such a great actor. Such a great bad guy. <laughs> Next up is my favorite film noir. I uh, sold this one to a bunch of people, so I'm hoping that they watch this movie and enjoy it as much as I did. Kiss Me Deadly. There'd be no Repo Man if there was no Kiss Me Deadly. <laughs> There'd be a lot, a no lot of other movies if there's no Kiss Me Deadly. And aside from that, there's an amazing, 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 I cannot tell you how amazing it is, Mickey, Mike Hammer's Mickey Spillane. Just an incredible documentary. When we got this one here, it was one of those days I was in a funk. My, my better half surprised me with this film. Had no idea this was coming. We sat down, we watched this documentary, got in such a great mood. Loved watching it. Loved this film. Beware what's in the suitcase. Just saying. And last of my Criterion Blu-rays before my Criterion DVD section is coming up. And that is The Man Who Knew Too Much. Such an amazing film. Such a great Hitchcock film. There isn't a second wasted in this film. It's so tightly directed. So well shot. Not a second of dialogue. Not a second of film <coughs> will, will bore you. You're not going to get up during the entirety of this film. It runs 75 tightly directed minutes. Great film, part of Hitchcock's <laughs> British films that he did before he came over here to well, came over, came over to North North America, went to America and made Rebecca on that. Uh, it's got an illustrated Hitchcock. It's you know again really cool stuff. Uh, part another part from the uh, Truffaut interview. We got a great booklet in here, an interview with uh, Del Toro's in here. I love Del Toro's work. Great stuff. This is number six forty three. Highly, highly, highly recommend this movie. Peter Lorre makes this film, but everybody in this film is spot on. It is a suspenseful film, and we were watching it, and there's a certain sequence where my better half is like, you know, this is the way suspense should be done. And I cannot, cannot recommend this film strongly enough. Next up, in my next, my next uh, video will be on my Criterion DVDs. This is probably going to go into two or three, looking at the stack that I've got there now and how I want to talk about these things. So... Thanks a lot, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one here. Give it a like. <clears throat> thumbs it up. Share it on Google+, Plus, Facebook, if you want to. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And please leave a comment down below. I always love enjoying uh, reading your guys' comments and, uh, and replying back to them.
Thanks a lot for watching right now. As soon as I finish off my French vanilla coffee, I'm going to be honest with you, I've had coffee today. You know, it's kind of a chaser to tea. I've got a caffeine addiction. It's bad. I know. <clears throat> it will be time for tea.